Peace and blessings. Welcome back to Impressive Wisdom. I am back with another collective reading. All right. So the first card I got was loneliness. It says when you stop fearing your aloneness, you stop settling for less than you deserve. May I embrace love. May I embrace and love my solitude. And that's when kindred spirits can finally come. All right. So I feel as though just with this card alone, you guys need to learn how to enjoy your own company. Okay. Because you fear of being alone, because you can't stand to be alone, you often attract people that does not serve your highest good. Okay. You may attract takers, you know, um, people that that notice that your weakness which is being alone or your fear of being alone and they exploit that okay and then you're left you know with the outcome that you did not expect or you didn't want okay so to avoid di being disappointed to avoid um toxic relationships you know if you want to attract kindred experience in your life you know sometimes the most high will get you alone. Sometimes you got to sit this out. You got to sit on the bench. You got to seek this one out, you know, until they feel you're ready. You got to do some more healing. You got to go within. You got to tap in with your star player. You got to get right because you've been settling for less than what you deserve and you deserve more than that, you know. The most high knows your, your spirit, knows your heart. OK, so and they know that you mean well, they know that your intentions are good. But you keep attracting losers, you keep attracting these toxic people that have not healed in their life. You keep attracting these people when you know you deserve better. Stop settling for less. OK, it's OK to be alone sometimes. It's OK. You don't got to be alone forever. But you might need to go within and get to know yourself and work on your discernment, okay? The next card I have is crystal. It says, have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't see yet. Okay, so have faith and hope. Everything may not make sense right now. Okay, it may not make sense. With the bottom of the deck, we got you are confused and indecisive because you do not have enough information do research or seek expert advice before making a decision okay you guys may not even trust your own judgment at this time you may fear the unknown your life may have changed okay a lot of people may have fought by the wayside and you're alone now you guys could be in your hermit mode you need to embrace your solitude and love it because you're going to come out of it as a better person. It's for your highest good. Trust and believe that. Okay. With the two of swords. I feel like you don't trust yourself. You know, you're indecisive. And I feel like it's because you don't know what's coming next. Okay. But like this card says, there's something new, something positive and new is on the horizon that you can't see yet. You know, you may be blinded or unaware of this, but you, it's calling for you to have faith. No matter what, even in times of, you know, when you're indecisive and you don't know what's next, just know that it's going to be for, for your highest good. Just know that everything is always working out for you and you'll be okay because you're one of God's most strongest soldiers. <laughs> Okay, with the stream card, okay? He, the Most High is not taking you through this for no reason. You're, you're not being brought through this. It's because you can handle it. <coughs> you guys are strong. You're, you're courageous. You need to be more confident. And you need to have more, more faith. Now is not the time for you to be impulsive either. 
You got this. There's nothing to worry about. You got it. You're going to you're going to find a light in the darkness. Okay? You guys could be, you know, caught up in your past as well. You could be reminiscing a lot, you know, on past connections and things like that. Someone could be returning from your past as well. I feel like you've thought about the times that you gave and you didn't get anything back. Okay. But what you did gain is wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of what those connections were. So be thankful for that. Be thankful for that. You have a lot to be thankful for, collective. A lot. Right? So let's let's pull let's pull um you know the final card. Let's see. For my collective. Overall advice. Close out this reading for my collective. This is my collect we need to know right now at this, this time. That's my collect we need to know at this moment in time. All the spirit. Okay. Yep. We got letting go. Letting go. Everything is indeed out of control and God will hold it all. I can safely let go. Let go of the past. Let go of those people. Let go of any anger and resentment. Just let it go and let God. Okay? Let it go and let God. Then we also have divine abundance that popped out. Divine abundance. The goddess Lakshmi. You were born to align with love's will. Follow the tail and serve something beyond the ego. Learn to be abundant and not chase it be abundance don't chase abundance be abundance you are the money okay and i feel like you had to let something go in order to obtain this abundance okay i feel like something was blocking this abundance but once you release and let go of the past then something new can come in which is divine abundance all right um, at the bottom, we got sanct sanctity through offering even the most mundane problem can become a sacred sacrament. So you guys need, may need to give back. Um, at the bottom of this deck, I forgot to mention, it says sanctuary. A sanctuary resides inside you. No matter what is happening, this inner temple beckons you to enter. Take a deep breath, enter, and sit down on the throne of your own heart, okay? 